Hey guys, it's UAG back in the building and I'm here to teach you how to fish. So let's rewind that back a little bit so I can explain that to you. Again, um, I'm UAG. I'm a father of two, a husband. Uh, I got a full-time job doing this YouTube thing. So my time is precious to me. But I wanted to get into the visual pinball scene, that hobby. So I've watched tons of videos, uh, just tons. And the amount of time that it would take to do installations, collect the tables, I just felt like I would never get this done. But then I stumbled across Pinball Emporium and the rest is history. It made it very simple for me to get into the hobby and do what I really wanted to do was actually play the games. So that was pretty cool. Now, with Pinball Emporium, it does give you a set of a library, whether it's for uh, visual pinball, pinball effects, um, future pinball, and it also takes your existing library that you've already purchased in uh, Pinball FX3 and allows you to play those games as well without losing any of the functionalities, whether it's... Uh, playing the matchups, the tournaments, and what have you. So it's really cool. However, you're limited to what you get when you do the installation. So Nate, Nasty Nate, as I like to call him, does this weekly show to show you how to add additional tables to your library. And that's where I come in. I'm going to show you the game that I would like to add to my library. And that game's is Hoops 1992 Gottly Table. Pretty awesome table. I'm very fond of it. I hope you are going to be as well. I'm going to show you the table, see if you want to add it to yours. And then Nate's going to show you how to get it done. With that being said, let's go ahead and pull up the table. So this is the table. It is a street level table, which that means is there's no ramps, no, you know, funky things to, to hop through. It's all going to be the playing of it on the actual level playing field. Now, the object of this game is to get the ball locked onto the field. There's three little locks on there that, you know, is going to unlock certain objectives and modes and what have you. Um, this is very reminiscent of the old school pinball from the 40s and 50s um, maybe even earlier than that um, so it's really cool one of the cool things about this table is two methods of scoring whether it's baskets or points um, and it's kind of fun I stumbled across this game because I started going through the little black hole of of the internet because I got so interested in the hobby I came across this guy who shows you tips and tricks on how to get um, the strategy of scoring on, on games. So I actually saw the physical table and not just uh, the one, you know, that we're going to be seeing today. So it's the actual table. And that's one of the things about this hobby. You start getting into it like I started getting into the visual pinball thing. And now I actually am very interested in the actual um physical life tables so much that I'm, I'm planning a trip to the pinball hall of fame and you should support them as well because uh, they were in danger of closing down they have a new building come opening up and that's cool so that's the table that i'm interested in that's my story about um how i got into it and, and why I'm, I'm basically starting to love this hobby um or whatnot you know Nate's going to show you how to get these tables downloaded. So you'll go to those sites, um, download the content. Make sure you thank those people in the community that provided us this, um, these tables, these assets. The hard work, blood, sweat, and tears that they put into making this. Because they're not doing this for money. There's no money into it. They're doing it for us because we love this hobby. So that's really cool. So thank the... Um, the slams, the Terry Reds, those individuals who put in the work to get this done. It's really cool. I think you will love it. 
Um, I'm definitely excited about um, this. So, down in the link below, well, down in the section below in the description, there's going to be a link to the Discord. If you have any questions or concerns, come across an issue. That's the place you want to go, whether it's Nate or Duke or the other individuals of the community. They're going to show you their how to get it done and help you out there. Again, the objective is not to hand you the fish. It's to teach you how to fish so you'll be self-sufficient, right? That's ultimately the goal. Um, so any questions, go over to the Discord. Um, subscribe to the channel. This is where you're going to get your weekly um, table ads or um, other information. If there's any updates to the software or anything like that, um, Nate will do it through there. And remember, follow your boy, UAG, your average gamer. Go to my channel. Um, subscribe. We'll definitely love you there. <laughs> With that being said, um, Nate's going to show you how to add this to the table. Yo, Nate, show him how to do it. I'll speak to you next time. Hey guys, Nate here. I really want to give a big uh, shout out to Your Average Gamer um, for taking over for this week's uh, table showcase. He's an amazing uh, special guest and really glad to hear from somebody else. I know you guys just love hearing from me, but it's really you know amazing when we can have somebody else step in tell us about their favorite table, how they all got into all this and stuff like that. So I really want to thank him again for coming up and doing this. And hopefully we can get some more of uh, the community out there to help create these weekly uh, tables. Because like I said, I'm sure you love hearing from me, but you know we want to hear from everybody. This is a community run project. So we want to hear from the community. So I'm going to hopefully push this out to more people if you guys enjoyed it. So anyway, let's get to the install part. This install was way more complicated than we originally planned. As you can probably see, my screen just changed to a completely different look with different files. But we're here to figure this stuff out for you so you guys don't need to struggle too much. But anyway, in the description below, you will see five links. The first link will be to the table, which will take you to VP Forms to download it. The second is the back glass, which hopefully you don't see this, but I am no longer welcomed at VP Universe, so hopefully you're able to download the back glass. If not, reach out and we'll uh, figure something out. Next, you're going to need the media, which you can download from Pinball Nirvana. You will also need a new ROM file, which was available at Pinball Nirvana as well. And finally, we're gonna need this NVRAM file. Now, this may be different um, in the description below, but for right now, this is where this file lives. We couldn't get this table running originally, but we really wanted to, so we reached out to the um, staff and users over at Pinball Nirvana, and in an hour, what is it, when did I post this? I posted this at 10 o'clock at night, and by midnight, they had already found a solution for us. So these guys are amazing. Xenof and Ike Savage have really helped out um, the community and helped us out figuring this out. So if you ever have, you know, major problems, just can't figure anything out, something that, you know, in our Discord, you can't get it, these guys are so smart. Reach out to them, you know, don't go ba too basic with them, but because uh, they are, they're really good at what they do. They, I mean, this honestly is probably more experience than, um, you know, knowledge is just something, you know, this is just something you wouldn't know if you hadn't been part of the community for so long. But they did. I didn't. I reached out and they were very helpful in figuring this out for us. So anyway, those are the five files we're going to need. So we have our, here's, they're already downloaded for me. Well, I downloaded them, not for me. But anyway, so the first thing we're going to do is the media. Now, again, you can drag this file in here and tell it to extract. But the way we're gonna do it is I'm just gonna double click on it and I'm gonna drag it into my Pinball Emporium folder. Now make sure you don't get anything highlighted because that means you're gonna install it into a folder. We want to do it into a blank spot. So if you see blue and you see a plus next to the arrow, we don't want that. We just wanna, well you'll see the plus next to the arrow, but we don't wanna see that blue. We wanna just drop it into the Pinball Emporium folder. All right, you won't see this. I've already, obviously already installed this once. 
So, okay, the media is now installed. Next, we're gonna install our tables. So we're gonna go over to Emulators, Visual Pinball, and into our, well, we'll just leave it there for now. Now we're gonna extract these two folders, but we're gonna have to do an extra step here. So backlash and table files need to be named exactly the same. So we're gonna copy the name of the table file and we're gonna paste it um, with the backlash. These need to be identical for it to work, for you to be able to see the backlash. So again, we're gonna copy these two files. We're gonna drop them into our tables folder. You won't see this, but I've already done this once today. Okay, so we now have our media and our tables installed. Now here was the big um, issue that we were running into. So we're gonna go into our VPIN main folder. Now there's two ways we're gonna do this. The NVRAM file, we are going to extract. So we're gonna say extract here. And we now have a hoops.nv. We're gonna find our NVRAM folder. And we're gonna drag that into here. So again, that's visual pinball emulators, visual pinball, vpin mame, and the NVRAM folder. Next is our ROM file, which is this right here. Now this one we are not extracting, but what we need to do is rename it. So we're gonna delete the numbers and the dash before it. So it just says hoops.zip. We have our ROM folder here. We're gonna simply drag this into here. Oop, copy it into the ROMs. We're gonna replace the, you will have one in there. That one is broken. So make sure you replace it. We're gonna replace it. And now hoops is ready to go. We can go through Pinball Emporium or just to show you guys really quick. Let me change my screens around. Did I add a key button? Ooh, I did. Nice, I don't even need to open this anymore. We're just gonna double click hoops. And there we go. Now, as you can see here, I have, if you're doing two screens, you need to disable this DMD because that will automatically pop up. If you're doing three screens, you probably don't see that right there. You'll you probably see it in your third screen and you don't need to, ma it doesn't matter. So for two screen people, we're gonna hit F1. We're gonna uncheck use external DMD and we're gonna hit okay. So now we're gonna close that file We're going to quit out of there. Let's see, wait for my screen to reload. And we're going to hit play again. And there you go. So just to give you a better look at that, I, I forgot that I was uh, in cabinet mode. So we hit F1 and you want to uncheck use external DMD, which you see right down here. Sorry, you guys can't see my mouse. I forgot about that. So you need to uncheck this if you're doing a two screen setup. If you're doing a three screen setup, you can leave it as is. But there we go guys. You guys have a brand new table to go play. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you again to your average gamer. Thank you again to the users over at Pinball Nirvana. We couldn't have done this week's video without you guys. Um, this was definitely this was definitely, you know, a headache, but fun to do, fun to figure out how to get things working. And this is what the community is for, is to have everyone help each other out and understand that people are coming from this at a different pace, you know, you know, six months, six weeks, six years, everyone is, you know, at a different point in pinball and you don't get to the same place the same way. So, you know, we need to help you know, keep a community just going and making sure we're all helping each other out. So thanks again to your average gamer for that uh, great little chat. And thanks again to the guys over at Pinball Nirvana for helping us get this uh, table up and running. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy the table. Leave a message in the description below and we'll see you next week. Take care.